This is a video that shows how to use a Bunsen burner. A typical Bunsen burner has the following parts. A base or a stand that prevents the burner from toppling, gas intake where the hose is attached, gas valve that regulates the flow of the gas, a collar that contains the air hole, air holes that regulate the amount of oxygen intake, a barrel approximately five inches long. It can be ignited using a striker or a lighter. When using a striker, turn the main valve on parallel to the hose. Open the gas valve at the bottom of the Munson burner and produce a spark by the side of the barrel until ignition. When using a lighter, turn the main valve on parallel to the hose. Turn on the gas valve at the bottom of the Bunsen burner and slowly raise the lighter from the base to the top of the barrel until ignition. These are two identical Bunsen burners. The flames look different because they have been set differently. The bottom valve regulates how much gas is fed into the burner. The more gas allowed in the burner, the taller the flame. The air holes in the collar will control how much oxygen will be used in the combustion process. So the type of flame depends on the relative quantities of gas and oxygen. A cold flame looks like a candle flame and is used to heat surfaces or substances gently. It is set by reducing the amount of oxygen proportionally to the amount of gas. Therefore, the air holes are either slightly opened or completely shut. A hot flame is blue and show two peaks. It is set by opening the air holes until the blue peaks are spotted. The hottest part of the hot flame is the top of the inner peak. This flame is often accompanied by a roar.